The new witch hunters, that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Late yesterday, Rush Limbaugh was bounced out of contention to buy into a pro football team. That happened because various people, like Al Sharpton, put forth that Mr. Limbaugh had made a series of racial comments and thus did not deserve to be part of the National Football League. That race theme quickly became a hammer used against Limbaugh. I don't see him as much as a racist, as uh, he makes r racial remarks, but I see him more as a bigot. And a bigot is someone who, regardless of the facts and evidence in front of them, they still go their own way. All I know is about what I read about Rush Limbaugh, but I, I do know what he talks about and the line that he tries to play. It's an easy line to play. It's a race line. So what's the evidence that Limbaugh is a race baiter? We investigated the statements that are being tossed about. The first one allegedly has Mr. Limbaugh praising James Earl Ray, convicted of assassinating Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. There's no evidence that Rush Limbaugh ever did that. The accusation comes from a far-left guy named Jack Huberman, who provided no evidence to back up the claim. Huberman is also the source for Limbaugh's alleged quote saying slavery was not entirely bad. Again, Huberman provided no backup. The allegation was also published on Wikipedia without any sourcing whatsoever. Mr. Limbaugh denies making both comments. Finally, a Kansas City Star columnist named James Fussell quoted Limbaugh saying bad things about the NAACP. The quote came from a newsletter called Flush Rush, but so far there's no confirmation the disparaging remarks, again, were ever made. So what we have here are accusations without merit, but in our hypermedia age, that's enough to paint someone as a racist. Now, I've been through this. A couple of years ago, I said on the radio that having dinner in Harlem at Sylvia's restaurant was the same as having dinner anywhere in America. The context was my grandmother, who was very afraid of blacks, even though she never even met a black person. Her fear was irrational, and I made that point quite clearly. But the vicious website Media Matters put forth I was denigrating a black owned restaurant and some people actually believed it without even listening to the radio broadcast which I posted on BillOReilly.com so everybody could hear it well there goes my NFL career fair-minded Americans know that playing the race card is easy and hateful the only thing we can find about Rush Limbaugh is that he thinks quarterback Donovan McNabb is overrated by some people who want black quarterbacks to succeed Mr. McNabb resented the remark as he should have he's a good player and his color has nothing to do with his performance I think Limbaugh made a mistake with that analysis. But that doesn't make him a racist and should not disqualify him from owning part of a team. We've got to stop the racial witch hunting in America. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction. Joining us now from Washington, Juan Williams, who was on the scene when I made the Harlem remarks. He was on the radio program. And from Raleigh, North Carolina, Warren Ballantyne, a syndicated radio talk show host. So Warren, is this a witch hunt or is it legitimate against Limbaugh? I think it is legitimate against Limbaugh, and the reason being is because of the perception that he's put out there. Now, I, in the talking points, you talked about how you couldn't substantiate some things. Well, some things were substantiated, like him saying back in 1970 when he was Jeff Christie that to a black caller to take the bone out of your nose and call me back later. Him also saying that the NFL Football League is nothing more than Crips and Bloods fighting without weapons. Now, if you're going to put that out there, you can't come back and be a baby and say, well, now you're turning against me, even though you've put that perception out there. Okay. Now, now, wait, he, he wait, 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 let me, let me, let me, all right, the, the 1970 remark is off the chart bad. The Crips and the Blood analogy was made in the context of a lot of violence and a lot of off-field criminal problems for the NFL. Seems to be in context, Warren. Well, again, you got to look at it in the totality, Bill. When you talk about Crips and Bloods, the majority of them are minorities who are out here uh, doing this. So as a minority, when he says Crips and Bloods, I'm identifying that he can't put something that any other uh, nationality is doing that is equal to that. He could have used another analogy, but he chose not to. All right. Well, how do you see it, Juan? I think this is a witch hunt. I think this is really what's going on here is a political attack on somebody the left absolutely loathes. The left can't stand him, and they want to get in his way at any time possible. Now, what we're talking about here is Rush Limbaugh is not a sympathetic figure, left or right. He mocks people. He makes fun of people. He mimics people. And so suddenly, people see an opportunity to stick a thumb in his eye based on things that he hasn't said. Really, this business about Crips and Bloods, if you look at the lineup of NFL players, and I could start with uh, Michael Vick electrocuting dogs, uh, you know, and go down the line in terms of wife beating and the rest, 
you know what? It was comical to Rush, but it's not racist. There's a big difference between being, uh, you know, high-handed and, and poking fun at people and poking fun at black people and being racist. A huge difference. And Rush Limbaugh here is being excoriated as if he is a racist, and that's not the case. Bill, if you look at this argument DeWine is presenting, 90% of the NFL owners are conservatives. He's talking about this is a left-wing movement. Look, this is just like me coming out calling somebody uh, prostitutes and pimps and then turning around saying, I want to I wanna own you. I, I, I want to be a part of what you're doing. This has nothing to do with race. This has to do with business. He's divisive. He's polarizing. And as a business owner, do you want to bring that into your small-knit community? I say you wouldn't want to do it. It's dumb business. Yeah, okay, I but, that. but if it's just a business decision, I don't have a problem with it, Warren. But right now, you have a lot of people in America believing that Limbaugh uh, praised James Earl Ray but, when, but, it, when it never happened. You see, look, once it gets in, and I'm a victim of this myself, once it gets into the internet and gets out there, people don't check it out like we did. And it was hard for us to check it out. We had to spend hours doing this kind of stuff to run down where the heck this thing came from. And we did. Some far left nut put it in a book. It got on the internet. And now it's true. That's witch hunting stuff. Warren, Bill, that's Bill, witch hunting stuff. Bill, it's one difference here that you're failing to, to look at. It's also a reality of what he's putting out here. This perception was created by him, and for him to step back now and whine like a little baby, that's, that's comical because he put this out here. This isn't something that the media made up. This isn't something somebody on the left made up. He started this with the perception that he did Hold in on. 1970 when he said, take the bone out of your nose. If that's not racist, I don't know what else is. Go ahead, Juan. Warren, let me just say something. What, what, is, what is divisive here is when you see Rush Limbaugh being attacked for things he didn't say, for things like that James Earl Ray comment or slavery was okay, slavery was good, this is madness. When you look in, at what has gone on, you're not supposed to talk about race. Why aren't you supposed to talk about race in the National Football League where, in fact, black people were excluded for so long? I live in a town, Washington, D.C., where the Redskins were one of the last teams to ever even have black people. You can't talk about race. You can't talk about the fact that so many of the players have criminal uh, problems. You can't talk about what happened with Michael Vick. And, and if Why you your whole race, argument is you can't say... It's, it's a whole red army argument because you're not talking about what's going on here. This was a business decision. This had nothing well, to saying, do. They, it, this, this had nothing to do with race. His business partners, in fact, told him, "Look, you need to back out." Yeah, of but this why did they do that, Warren? Why they, did the they, business partners they back, do that? They backed out of it because the owner said, "Look, he was too divisive." Had nothing they to do with race. They did it because of the pressure brought by Al exactly. Sharpton and a few other guys on race. That's, that's why they, if that they threw him under the bus. If that was the case, Bill, divisive. you wouldn't be on the air because well, they tried to get me off the air, Warren. People lied on you. So, they, I mean, they have tried very so hard to it, get me off the, the air case. using a bunch of lies. So that's why I'm doing the story, because it is a witch hunt. And yeah. if Limbaugh says racial stuff like he did in the 70s, that was a mistake. That was terrible. Fine. That's legit. But the reason that Limbaugh is not going to be able to buy into the NFL is because a bunch of made up stuff <laughs> became legend. And he got hammered. Okay, we won't look at the made-up stuff. Let's look at him playing Barack the Magic Negro on his show. And we're gonna say, oh, that's just funny. That's just a joke. That that that's that's not racial either. I mean, the reality of it is, it is racial to real hey, black Warren. people. Hey Warren, you were saying that I was a, my argument was a red herring. Maybe you should do some research. Go back and find out that it was an article written by a black person, headline about Barack the But Magic he Negro made it out of a LA song Times. and played. He made it out of a song and played it on his show. So what? He's making fun of it. He you, Juan, you know it, what? It, it, you it's okay. You can go fun. back right. to the porch. Juan. All right, you guys. Can go back. It's good okay. debate. Good spirited debate. We got to get this issue out, and we appreciate both of you coming on.